Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and here we are, the first of two videos I'm bringing you around the Seville Marathon. So you join me just the day before we leave, we're leaving tomorrow afternoon um, and I'm just getting ready, getting packed, the bedroom's a bit of a tip. As you can see, all the clothes are on it. But the most important thing that I'm doing now is getting all my race day stuff sorted. So uh, here you can see uh, run shoes, uh, some nutrition there, but all my gels and everything are in there. Some hydration, some salt pills, uh, all my run gear is all here. A special mention to kick it in the dick racing because that's what I'm going to be using on my actual race day. Um, yeah, and a bit of uh, race day cereal, morning cereal, bringing my own oat milk, uh, some noodles for a snack the night before if I need it. So it's just about getting ready, getting sorted. In fact, the flight's not until tomorrow afternoon, so uh, I've got tomorrow as well to sort, sort like, any last bits out and that kind of thing. And I'll try and bring you along with me. <laughs> Yes, I'm in Seville and I'm just out uh, on a nice little taper run this morning. We got in about half seven last night, or oh, it landed about half seven ish. Took the bus into Seville, then went out as you do in Spain for a bit of tapas, which was really nice. So we're out here as well with a couple of good friends, and I'm sure my mate, uh, my friend Chris, will pop up in the video at some point. But we're out of here with him and his wife and his daughter. And his wife is Spanish, so that's been very useful. So I'm just on my easy 10 minute run up and then I'm gonna do 30 minutes in zone two. And then with a set of strides, faster efforts towards the end. And I'm just heading down the river, probably towards a park. I'm not sure where I'm going, but kind of sussed it out last night on the maps. But a nice run so far along the river and a nice morning the weather here is lovely considering that this is half eight in the morning and i'm in shorts and a t-shirt i don't know if i caught that on film but there are some african elite runners i think shame i missed that who? I don't know. This is a really interesting park. Lovely park, in fact, to run through. So many trees. I'm hoping that I bump into the uh, elite runners again. We're running around here somewhere. I'm not sure where from. But African. I'm not sure what's your nation. So that's the workout done. 45 minutes. As I said, 10, 10 minutes easy, 30 minutes to zone two, with uh, five lots of strides towards the end. I'm just walking back to the hotel now. It's a lovely run in that park and along by the river. And the weather is great. It's not, it's not warm yet, but I think it's peaking like 22, 23 here. So the marathon is going to be interesting. On today's agenda, um, there might be a bit of echo in here. I think we're just doing a lot of sightseeing today. Um, as I said, we've got friends here who kind of know it a bit better than us, so hopefully they'll take us around and show us a few things. And I'm sure we'll hit some nice spots for lunch and dinner, of course. That is one thing I like about being away, is that kind of thing. Experiencing the food, the culture and the weather. Just new places, it's great. Now the Marathon Expo isn't until well, Friday we're going to go to pick up our stuff actually because we, myself and Chris, we've entered to do the breakfast run on the Saturday 
Now I'm not going to run that at any hard pace or anything, I'm just going to stick to the plan and do use that as my taper run day before, loosen the legs up, that kind of thing. Uh, there's no way I'm running a 5k hard the day before a marathon. So I'm going to head back to the hotel now, it's about a 10 minute walk and then get showered and changed and then head out with the gang today. Who knows what it's got in store, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. So we just got back from a long day sightseeing out and about in Seville and we're a bit knackered aren't we Isabel? Yeah. Feet hurt, legs hurt, don't want to be doing that before the marathon day, got to take it easy. Uh, what's on the agenda tonight Isabel? Dinner. Dinner? After a bit of chillaxing? Yeah. What are you watching? Um, Gangster Granny Strikes Again. I mean, I did it. There you go. That's that's good enough for her. Morning, so it's, is it Friday? Friday. Friday, Friday, and we're just having breakfast. Um, I'm gonna head off to the expo. This is Chris. Chris, say hello to the vlog. Hello. Chris is a very good friend who, how long have we known each other? Well, of course. Since we were since three. We, since we were about two. Yeah, two, two or, or three. three. So, um, yeah, quite a long friendship. So. Chris is here to do the marathon as well. A uh, very experienced marathon runner, unlike myself. Chris, how many marathons have you done? This will be number 2626. Oh, bloody hell. And Chris is trying to do the A to Z of marathons. How many have you got left? Uh, nine, I'd say. Letters? Nine letters to go. Which one I think? Uh, so, still missing A. It's got a B, got a C. I don't know. I've got it all written down somewhere. Yeah, and here's me on my second, so. Um, yep, some breakfast. Head to the expo, pick up our race numbers, that kind of thing. Um, and I'll, yeah, take the camera with me, show you around now what that's like. Who knows how big it is. Not gonna be like London, is it? <laughs> Smaller. done all the numbers picked up ready to race tomorrow with a breakfast run and then the marathon on Sunday, Sunday. Ooh, it's gonna be a warm one I think warm and be cloudy possibly yeah, 24 degrees I think hydration salts that kind of thing gonna be important um, we'll see so that pretty much concludes uh, the build up to the race. I'm gonna take you along for part two for the breakfast run tomorrow. And of course I'll try and get the, some footage with the marathon. I'm not gonna take the camera on that marathon, but I am gonna have the wife here. So hopefully she'll cap capture me at some point during it. The wife? Yeah, the wife. Who's that? Who do you think? I don't know. Rennie? Rennie? Who's my wife? Mummy? Exactly. Anyway, yeah, see you for part two. Thank you. 